Steve Whitman was an, an avid air racer, and so he built the flying carpet for himself. It was, you know, a very desirable aircraft to the early EA members. They pestered him about offering plans. He rechristened it the Whitman Tailwind. He also made it a little bit easier to fly. You know, him being an air racer, he could handle it, but he wanted to make sure it was something that the average pilot could handle. So this year was the 70th anniversary of the Whitman Tailwind, so we had a, a, an above average turnout at Tailwinds. We always try to focus in on the anniversary aircraft and get some energy behind uh, getting some of the aircraft to come back to Air Venture. You know, we make sure we, we park them in a very uh, high traffic area so that people can see them, talk to the builders, and, and kind of celebrate the aircraft. first started looking into flying, a uh, very good friend of mine, CFI, that I worked with, he, uh, he asked me why I wanted a tailwind and I told him, I said, it's got everything I wanted, it's a high wing, I can, I can still see the ground, uh, the tail wheel, it's just, it's the old school style of flying in my book. I did a lot of research, found out that this airplane had the smaller motor, a lot more tame. Uh, my cruise is not 200 like all the others, but I'm still cruising 145. I wanted to buy one first to see if it was something worth doing a five-year build on. I've owned it now for five years. I've done some retros and changes to it to make it my own. I would still like to build one. I mean, it's, it's been that good of an airplane to me. It feels great. I get a lot of questions on exactly what this airplane is. It, it turns a lot of heads. It's been an awesome week so far, uh, getting to see all the old Tailwind friends that we've met over at Watertown each year before Oshkosh. The Whitman Tailwind was a very influential design. I mean, it was very high performance for its day. In fact, even today, 70 years later, it is still being built. And the reason it is, is because it has great performance. If you want something that, you know, kind of can cruise with the RVs out there, uh, Tailwind will do that. And you can do everything yourself and keep the cost down to a, a, a very affordable price and have a real cross-country aircraft. You know, there's a lot of designs early on and only a handful of them are still being built today. And Steve was a very good eyeball engineer, but he was very good at making things simple and efficient. And I think because of that, the aircraft is still a desirable one to build today.